You guys ready for the top seven video game guns? Oh, I, yeah. well, I've got my pick. That's Dude, a good one. That's a good one. ACOG? Yeah, with the ACOG. We're supposed to do seven? That's right. Seven. Seven. Seven, there's so many good ones. Okay, all right, you know what? In no particular order, top seven guns made famous by video games. Welcome back, everybody. Clint here today with Classic Firearms. We've got Kaya back with us. What's up, guys? And we're here to talk about guns again, but this time, not just random guns. We're talking about the top seven guns made famous by video games. We've got PUBG, Fortnite, freaking Call of Duty, Call obviously, yeah, Ghost Recon, sure. all of them. Like, Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike, yeah, you're, you like to play Counter-Strike. Oh my right? god, yeah. I love that stuff. Yeah, so we'll be talking Wait, about- I don't play any video games, I, I got a life. <laughs> okay, right. anyway, so let's go ahead and roll into this though because my number seven pick is one of my favorite guns to actually shoot, especially since they took away the reciprocating charging handle. We're talking about the SCAR-17. There you go. Mm, 7.62 NATO awesomeness, and if you don't know, the original SCAR-17 had a reciprocating charging handle. What that means is this little guy would go back and forth every time you pulled the trigger, and depending on where you placed your hand to grip the gun, it might get hit by it, and that sucked. FN, definitely the manufacturer of the SCAR, uh, finally listened to the people and put on a non-reciprocating charging handle which is great for me because it actually never really bothered me that much. I just like to complain about it, but it's a good point though. It is a good point, Very good. right? Now, of course, we've seen this gun made famous in Fortnite. You had the different tiers of firearms, like, and their lethality, yeah. right? So I think like the gold tier, the gold scar was like the epitome of the best, right? In that game. I've been using it in uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands again because I get, I really like the tactical shooter that that game is. And it's just a lot of fun. I mean, you've had a pretty good experience with the SCAR. Yeah, yeah. pretty bad, actually. Oh, oh I that's would, funny. Call of Duty, I get killed with it all the time. Oh, that's I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm talking about like this. IRL, dude, in real life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, in real life, no. I mean, I've shot it. It's an amazing shooting rifle, obviously. Right. But in the game, mm -hmm. dude, I was like, you know what? Let me try this. Because everybody's killing me with it. Yeah. And I, was, I sucked at it. I couldn't control it. It was just crazy. Ah, oh, man. Well, it's in real me. life, it's a gun. In real life, it's definitely a lot of fun. SCAR 17, 762 NATO Awesomeness, our number seven pick. Number six, Kai, what would you say number six should be? Because I already got it in my mind. Let's do it. Let's do it! High on life. <laughs> Come on, that's not a real gun. No, no, we, we did not it do is it. for me. Uh, this is, we're no, M200 <laughs> Intervention, 408 shy tech that's what we're talking that's about right. right now. That thing, again, we don't have one right here in front of a us right at the moment. that I haven't shot. Yeah, Demo, yeah. Matt, if you're watching this. Yeah, Kai hasn't shot it yet. Uh, I've shot it's it the first time I mentioned it. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely, definitely yeah. is. Yeah. The shy tech M200 intervention chambered in 408 shy tech is an absolute legendary beast 360 no scope modern warfare 2 we know all about it absolutely how many of you guys were able to get those no scopes on target every single time it happened to me a lot i was never able to actually do it i didn't i did not do well i like the campaign you know what i mean yeah and <laughs> I, no comments because i haven't shot it you shot, you shot it in video games. I did. Yeah. It's not the same, dude. I'm, yeah. I got a sore spot. Well, obviously, it's not I'm the 200. same. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm upset. Yeah, I'm it's all right. We got another one on the way, though, and it is also our current giveaway. So head on over to cfcontest.com to get your entries in on the current giveaway. Again, that 408 Shy Tech M200 intervention. Code word, demo. And uh, it is an absolute beast to shoot. It is a lot of fun. You'll, you'll experience it maybe yeah, one sure. day. If I'll, the winner allows you to pull the trigger. When yeah. I see it. It's a, it comes up to the winter, man. Yeah, I can't wait. I, seriously, I mean, it sat here for quite some time. Yeah. What a beautiful looking machine. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, slowly Dude, shoot that, it. That under barrel handle is just kind of what gives it that defining yeah. look, you know? And then the big beefy bipod that yeah. comes around the barrel. Well, dude, it's solid. And we all know it very well, again, from Modern Warfare 2. And that's just where it is. I want to know scope in real life. Yeah, to a steel target or paper yeah. target. And actually, like, you know, just... I, I want to try that. Yeah. Safety first. Good deal. Number five. For our number five pick, it just made sense to make the MP5 number five. Bam! I got the MP5K. Did, where's mine? That's... I mean, it's concealable now, right? <laughs> now that you're taking the 
price on. Yeah. Uh, anyway, no. so the MP5. Now, this gun may have not been exactly made famous by video games per se, but I can tell you this. In just about every popular video game, there has been a variation of the MP5, MP5K, like Black Ops, whatever else it might be. Cold War. Uh, what was it, uh, Black Hawk Down, that video game, oh, because yeah. the pilots were using the MP5s, you know. Dude, this thing, I love this gun. It is classic design that just, even today, I mean, there's so many different clones and variations of this gun that it's it's timeless, if you ask me. That roller delayed action that it has makes it very soft shooting. It's nine millimeter, which is easy to come by, and it just is a good looking, good performing, accurate, reliable firearm that I think is gonna stand the test of time, as it already has proven itself, but I think it's not gonna go anywhere for a very, very long time. Definitely. I've used this in Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. And it's just a nice shooting gun, maneuverability, mobility, whatever, in, in a, right. a close quarter application. But you know what? I actually got to hear about this, like really hear about it. Black Hawk Down, as you mentioned. Yeah. Those pilots having them, obviously those little guys. Yeah. And also, everybody knows this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, gotta give it a good old slap. Yeah. Now, what, slap. now that's as far as video games go, but you know, as far as I know, there hasn't been a video game that mimics the Iranian hostage situation at the uh, or the Iranian embassy hostage situation that took place. Mm. So that's where these really got famous because that's whenever something like that was actually so publicized. Uh, Margaret Thatcher herself even said she didn't want to use smoke grenades or anything because she wants it to be seen how right. the SAS responds to terrorism and. They, they did it. They did it right. They went in there with their MP5s and their big ass mag lights on top and, yeah. and absolutely wrecked. So, good job, SAS. And if you haven't seen that movie too, uh, was it Six Days? Something like that. Uh, go watch that movie. That's a good one. But anyway, the MP5 for our number five pick. Let's move on to number four. Number four. What do you think, Kaya? I'm thinking an iconic rifle from Counter Strike. Okay. Styrog, yeah, guys, oh. over here. Boom, Styrog, the 1970s. Yeah, the STG 77, the Styrog, the first successful mass-produced bullpup rifle. And what's a bullpup, you might be asking? Well, if you notice, there's not a trigger back here where the uh, magazine is. It's actually right up here. Your trigger assembly and your fire control unit is all taking place forward of where the loading and extracting and chambering and all that stuff takes place. Typically on your standard rifle, you'll notice that your trigger group and all that is behind the magazine. Typically just right behind the magazine. In this case, it's forward of the magazine. So it makes it a little bit more compact. For instance, this is a 20 inch barrel on this thing. This is a long barrel. And if you take a look at other 20 inch barrel guns, notice how much longer that is. That's because since the barrel is recessed into the gun a little bit further, it makes it a little bit more compact, which is great because now you're getting that full effective of effectiveness of that cartridge and all that type of fun stuff, which is really cool. But some parts of it might not be as ergonomic as others. There are pros and cons. Like for instance, if you are in a prone position trying to load this, it might not be as easy. Everything's a little bit closer to your face. Uh, but I will say this, the design behind the STG, you can look at different uh, bullpup designs out there also, like the X95 Tavor, uh, the MDR by Desert Tech. All these guns have really cool ergonomic features that just make it simple to use, right? For instance, you'll notice, and I can't really show it you know, here, but there's a mag release right here, which makes a lot of sense because, well, as you just kind of come here and push that button, you're able to strip that mag away, which is really nice, right? So little things like that make it super nice. Right, but overall, super cool gun, 5.56, five, gotta love it. And you gotta love this, uh, I mean, look at the, the way it's, it looks. Yeah. Like from the 1977, it looks like this futuristic oh, yeah. thing, and you could just easily, which I'm not gonna do, just press this and- Oh, and the barrel pops right yeah, out. Yeah, barrel pops yep, right out. quick barrel change. Yeah. The quickest barrel change. And yeah. full grip. It's yep. just such a cool looking thing, and obviously a one and a half yeah. X- Integrated uh, optic. Yep. Yep, it is a neat design, and with that too, of course, we see like the nine millimeter conversion, which is a real thing in the most modern Call of Duty, the most modern Call of Duty. Uh, we've yeah. also seen, there's 300 blackout models. Uh, 2019, I think, is when yeah. Steyr actually came out with the 300 blackout AUG, which is pretty cool. Apparently, they, they decided not to like uh, push it out to the market. Mm. They did make one. 
Yeah. Yeah. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, There's uh, what I think um, IWI and the Dvorak, they make a 300 blackout model. Yeah. Now what's really cool too about the optic is you got a one and a half power magnified optic, but sitting right on top, just in case your lens cracks, tube cracks, whatever it might be, you actually have some iron sights. I'll show that off yeah. really quick sitting right on top of the optic. So you've got your rear That's sight, cool. two white dots right here, and then forward sight that you see right there, front sight right up there. So really neat design, cool gun, something that, you know, if you haven't shot one of these, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Little piston driven guy, just a lot of fun. Definitely ahead of its time, you know, when yeah. it was built. Yeah, definitely, good yeah. looking thing. I agree. And of course, as they've gotten even, you know, later in generations and things, they've become more ambidextrous. They've offered, you know, different controls, shorter, longer barrels, all that type of fun stuff. They're a lot of fun. So anyway, moving on now to our number three pick. Number three, probably like my favorite. I, it's, it's definitely up there. No, it's my favorite. Is it? Okay. Ugh. The Barrett M82. Talk about freaking cool, am I right? Now, granted, what I have on the table right now is the Barrett M107. Slight difference. This one is capable of being shot suppressed. That's right, you can add a silencer to this semi-auto 50 BMG, that is a 50 caliber bullet, magazine fed beast that this is. What's the, the purpose of silencer is so, not everybody else go deaf. Just the shooter and yes. people around, right? Well, actually, to the shooter, it's not that bad. It's everybody around that it kind of sucks for. Because oh. if you look at the break and how this thing is oriented, all of those gases and that concussive force is being shot out to the side and kind of behind you. So typically where Ryan, our videographer, is standing whenever he's standing beside me and I'm shooting this gun, he's getting all of it. So like you're getting punched in the yeah. chest. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, this is an absolute beast of a gun. It's one that is more anti-material than it is anti-personnel, but don't worry, it's very effective on your video game characters that I absolutely demolish with this gun. That's right. not true. That's not true. I'm, I don't snipe. It's all. supposed to be like one shot, take you out. No, oh, yeah. I couldn't even get somebody down with it. What? This? You're full of it. I mean it, dude. At Call of Duty, I play, okay, I picked the M82, right? Yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, one shot, and uh -huh. you're gonna take him down. Guy with the three plates on, like full armored up. Oh, and it just he's, breaks it. Yeah, he just, yeah, breaks, just the breaks the armor, the armor, and he's not down. I gotta get a headshot on him or You know, something. I would be curious. We haven't done this test yet. We've done plenty of body armor testing, like the level yeah. four plus plate, shot it with armor piercing bullets, didn't go through all that stuff. We line up those plates and see how many of those plates a 50 BMG will go through before it stops. I think we do it. I don't. I don't know why we haven't done that yet. Yeah. I'll call guard dog. Anyway, number three on our list, the Barrett M82. Even though what I have here is the M107, which is I guess considered the better Barrett. I mean, seriously, icon. When it comes to iconic, yeah. If you actually Google iconic, probably you'll probably see a picture of this. In my opinion, I love it. Yeah. Anyway, if you haven't magged up one of these, you need to do that. Number two. Number two, Kyle. What you got for us? Of course, iconic. Oh. Deagle from Counter-Strike 1.6, Source and Global Offensive, but Source is the best. Is that is that popular opinion? Source is the best? Absolutely. And I, PC I don't play game is to be the best. What? You say something about PCs? You just think yeah, you're so you're you're you're, 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 you're better than everybody else, don't, don't you? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> you are a console guy? <laughs> Team Xbox, baby. That's what I'm talking right. about. You know what? Real game. I got like the PC. Series X or the S. I don't even know which one I got, but I, it, it takes the hard game if I want to play with this like what is this I don't know this is what it is man that's the real oh wait I don't know how it is. <laughs> nerd <laughs> <laughs> see I got a life I don't play computer games <laughs> <laughs> hey but you know what at least I've leveled up I've got the gold skin for my deagle now that is you. an mm. actual proof of that he doesn't have a life uh, what? if you can get a gold gun that means you don't leave your house or your mom's basement and you were just playing these games for like 20 hours a day or whatever. And to get that, I've never been able to level anything up. I, know, I, just, call it a, I just call it a level 400 credit score. <laughs> level 400 <laughs> credit scores. <laughs> That's how you get gold guns. <laughs> oh, PC's uh, still the best. Uh, yeah, good. If you say so. Anyway, let us know down in the comments. Are you a console type or a PC type? And if you are a console type and you're PlayStation, you're wrong. Anyway, I'll tell you this, guys. This is 50. That's just, uh, what is that, 357? That's 44. Or whatever. That's Same 44 difference. Magnum. Same difference. But you need Same a compensator difference. and you will 50 over there. True. Because it's so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the Desert Eagle is a, an iconic pistol. This thing is an absolute beast. Yes, it, it does come chambered in 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum, and also 50 Action Express. That is a 50 caliber bullet being shot through a pistol. It's absolutely ridiculous and I love it. 
And I will say this though, the most pleasurable shooting out of all of them is the 357 Magnum. The 357 Magnum, oh God, here we go. I'm gonna you're, try you're gonna see if I can this thing. Go for it. <laughs> no. Oh, that was close, dude. <laughs> try that the gold one, it's got, it's got more mass. Try, try that one. Oh, dude, oh you are God, you are close. Dude. You are so close. Throw your shoulder right, out. There you go. Comp. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What'd you do to hurt yourself? Try to air wreck a deagle. I was fighting off a bear. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, these things are absolute beasts of handguns. Yeah. Um, yes, I have shot them uh, single-handed. Do not advise. That kind of sucks. But the 357 Magnum is actually a really pleasurable shooting pistol. Yeah. It is a lot of fun to shoot. But you'll notice too. <laughs> When you look at the bolt in here, it looks really similar to an M16, M4, AR-15 bolt, which is really, really cool. So you'll notice that. And uh, you'll also notice single stack magazine. Can't take that out because YouTube is a pain. But uh, anyway, awesome gun. <laughs> oh, easy. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? You, you can't do it you know, that easily? Okay, let's do that. Talk, yeah, next, next. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, awesome gun and one that I would totally recommend to shoot if you haven't just because of its incredible power. Mm. Of 50. Of 50. But it is only number two on our list. We've got one more, but before we hit our number one, we're going to talk about an honorable mention that will be featured a little bit later in a different video. And that's, of course, the ACR. The mm. ACR is had the potential of being one of the best rifles ever made if only it had some support by those that actually made it. Magpole, Bushmaster, looking at you. <laughs> so uh, anyway, you'll be seeing one on the channel very soon. We'll leave it off there though and head on over to our number one. Number one on our list of the top seven guns made famous by video games, we've got, well, multiple names. We got the AWM, AWP, the L96A1 Green Meanie. You forgot a name. Oh. I, I said AWP, you just say AWP. It's AWP. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Accuracy International coming out with yeah. probably what's one of the most uh, recognizable, sought after bolt guns, sniper rifles ever chambered in 7.62 NATO, 300 Win Mag, and also 338 Lapua Magnum. This thing is an absolute beast of a bolt gun, and you've used it. Guys, and I mean, Counter Strike. Anybody who right. plays Counter Strike, yeah. anybody, they know all about it. Like yeah. it's a, it's insane. You just all you have to do is see somebody. Yeah. And it's a one shot kill. Yeah. Kind of a rifle, obviously, 338 Lapua or 300 yeah. Mag. I'm sh I'm glad I'm glad that it is accurately represented. Yeah. As opposed to the M82 on COD. Oh yeah. So oh uh, yeah, one shot kill, and of course paired with my Deagle. <laughs> That's a deadly that, combination. Is that what you typically run, really? That's right. Like that, bang, bang, and the guy's getting close to me, throw that away, get my deagle out. Practical. The, not 44, 50. <laughs> Practical. <laughs> so this gun has a long history. There's been books written about it, plenty of videos done. I mean, if you just look up L96 Green Mini or the L96 A1 Green Mini, I think that's actually a whole book designated to the distinguished service life and ultimately the development of that firearm. We actually gave away the Mark 13 mod. Uh, there was like the Mod O, Mod 3, Mod 5. We gave away the Mod 5. And mod, uh, our buddy Texas Planking has the Mod O, which is more of like that standard stock that you typically see. Uh, but with that thumb hole stock and everything, it is actually a very ergonomic, comfortable gun to shoot and a lot of fun to shoot as well. Yeah. That thing is just a really, really cool rifle. Of course, you guys have seen it in uh, Call of Duty as well back in the day. And yeah, you know, I mean, again, another gun that I didn't really use a lot because I don't like sniping, but I would get no scoped. Uh, fairly often, not as often as with the uh, you 200 aim intervention. With that uh, thing? No, I don't ever shoot snipers, but I don't yeah. aim. Yeah. Just point, shoot. Lights out. Is that is that what you do in Counter Strike? Just point. That's shoot. it. That's it. Just bang, gone. <laughs> Just bang, gone. All right. Fair yeah. enough. So let us know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Uh, did you have much experience with the AWM, AWP, AWP, as some people say? Uh, L96A1, whatever, Green Meanie. Just, you know what, Green Meanie. Just green Meanie, that's what we're calling it from here on out. Sure. Uh, just let us know, did you guys ever use that in real service or in your COD service? <laughs> Uh, let us know down in the comments section. And do you agree with this list? Not agree with this list? Again, let us know. This wasn't exactly in any specific order. It's just like, hey, these yeah. are some seven very popular guns that probably got popular because of their use in pop cultures. 
video games, yeah. movies, whatever else it might be. Again, we all know the MP5, you know, oh, yeah. you know we're talking you know, Bruce Willis, Nakatomi Plaza, Die Hard. Yeah, right. and, you know, there's, uh, I'm sure there's some people out there that are like, oh, you didn't mention this gun or that gun. Oh, there's yeah. so many out there. Yeah, and we have to pretty much all the rifles except for yeah. the Deagle in this case, because yeah. of course we could talk about some other guns, but everything you know else, you know, as far as video game use, it's kind of hard to talk about. But anyway, yeah, let us know what guns you think should have been on the list if they weren't. And while you're at it, again, I'll just go ahead and throw that shameless plug out there. Head on over to cfcontest.com, classicfirearms.com. Utilize the code word DEMO to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries on our M200 intervention giveaway. Yes, the same gun that you used to no-scope people with about 15, 20 years ago. You can do, again, was it really that long ago? It wasn't that long ago, right? It wasn't that long ago. It was like Not 15, yeah. What? Yeah, it was like 2008, 2009. Yeah, 2009, I remember. Man, getting old. <laughs> time flies. All right, sure. It was a long time ago. <sighs> that sucks for you because you're old. But anyway, right. we'll leave it off there, guys. Again, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. <laughs> we'll see you next time at ClassicFarms.com.